right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Cub Swanson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Elia El Matador Corporea! You ready to fight? You ready? All right, great to have everybody with us as we get round one going here. As many of you know, he won his last fight by devastating TKO. Now the focus, as the challenges get stiffer, is on keeping that momentum going. This is a, a legitimate winning streak, a legitimate knockout streak, but one that figures to be tested here tonight against an opponent who is unquestionably his stiffest challenger to date. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right, not there that time. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, nice hook. Oh, beautifully placed with that lead hook by Topuria. Didn't see that one coming. Gets tagged with a nice combination to the head. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Man, they are trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This is going to be a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. Oh, oh big left hand. Oh, he lands a hook. <laughs> Unable to connect with the right hand. Oh, nice combination there by Swanson there. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Nice punch by Swanson. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. He might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up with the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time he does. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Nicely done to the body. Swanson gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Try to establish that jab. Oh, getting active, lands another combination to the head. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, collar tie. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Swanson gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Nice body shot. Hook in the clinch there by Topuria. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Nice body shot there. Beautiful combination there from Killer Cub Swanson. You know Joel Diaz likes that. Under a minute to go in our opening round. That shot blocked by Ilya Topuria. Oh, nice right hand, John. Nice leg kick. 
Landed another nice leg kick there. All right, he engages in the single leg this time. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. 20 seconds left. Tries to work it into a takedown. Final seconds. Shot at double leg. Oh, and you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the mat, John's papers went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working Great man work. camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. This table is a mess. <laughs> All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they win... You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. you got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. He's got that jab working nicely done. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. That was a solid punch. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Went for the inside leg kick. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big shot to the head. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for... Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't wait for these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. All right, so there it is. Yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, Johnny. You could think that he's setting him up to go up top. Or, honestly, if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes you. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much oh, that is it. oh, my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.
All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Elia El Matador Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings.